Now, back to Tell Me Everything on Sirius XM Progress 127. And we're back taking your calls at 866-997-4748. 866-997-4748. Hello. Grit. Keith Price is our guest. Keith, uh, what, what, what's going on with Broadway? How's this new Sweeney oh. Todd with Josh Groban? I, I don't really understand the casting. Well, you don't understand the casting, but it is a delightful rendition, I gotta say. And I'm, I'm saying this only because I'm somebody who, you know how I love me some Sondheim overall? Mm-hmm. Yes. But this is not this is not one of my particular favorite pieces of his because I just find the show very dark. You know, if you <laughs> really, know, which, which part, the murder or the cannibalism? What gets you down, Keith? <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of both. You know what I mean? Like, they kind of come out of both ends at sides at you. But like yeah. what I have come to love because I'm actually very blessed because I get to be there a lot. I get to see the show a lot. Yes. And one of the moments that I love is that it's it's the orchestrations. And what I found out is that these are the original orchestrations that they did 40, was it 40 years ago with Angela Lansbury and Len Carew, yes. who Mr. Carew was at opening night on Sunday. But that's oh, the no other way. story. Yes. But Josh Groban, you know, say what you want to say about him. People are, you know, they say he's a little too pretty for the role, which I kind of agree. I mean, Johnny but, Depp is pretty and he did a good job in the film. He, yeah. But, you know, the thing is, though, like the film was like they really go after the darkness of that whole story. Yes. Whereas in but in the Broadway show, it tends to kind of have a little bit more of a a, a pullback view of the whole scenario. So it doesn't it doesn't right. feel as dark as the it's film not does. Tim Burton. It's not Tim Burton's Hollywood version of Sweeney. Todd. Exactly. Exactly. But, you know, I, I got to say, man, it turned it, it's turned me out and I'm just kind of like, mm, I'm not, you know, I okay. still am telling you that it's going to have an interesting come run come the Tony time against Parade for Best Revival because uh, Parade is yes. back. And and we're talking about, you know, two shows that are, of course, as far apart as they possibly could be. But at the same time, there's darkness over both of those shows. Well, you know? Parade is being protested by Nazis. That makes it hard <laughs> to beat at the Tony. I'm sorry, man. If I ever have a solo show on Broadway, I'm going to pay Nazis to come pick at me. <laughs> I'll get the ones yes. I know in the Tea Party to come on out. Um, but I'm, but don't, don't. If you're coming to New York, though, I really, I don't even know if you can still get tickets because the tickets, they have tickets on sale through January. Pretty of women, the year. fascinating. Pretty women. Oh, oh, it's a great musical. It's a great. It's musical. such. It's just, and the orchestrations is just fabulous, and the, the right people. On. Annalee Ashford, if she doesn't get a Tony nomination, I will be very surprised because you are. To be dragging honest, me to culture. She she kind of steals the show. Shh. I mean, right. Josh is, but Annalie, she she delivers something that is just it's very special to that role. Like she can she gives you all the humor, all the darkness, all the emotion at the pretty much at the at at various times throughout the show. But you get the full range of Mrs. L- and I never thought of Mrs. Lovett as that kind of character that you could actually. One minute you actually almost feel sorry for her, and you're just like, right. "Oh, girl." Well, I look forward to seeing but, it now. I'm excited. Yes. I love the musical. Oh my so, god! All right, on your recommendation, yes, yes. I'm gonna, I will you sneak should, into Sweeney Todd. This is when you should speak it to baby. Bring it. Okay. Though. 